Hey guys, Chris from Probo Beast Audio Installation with just one question here today. Have you ever asked yourself if there's a product out there that not only is a DVR dash cam recorder, but a backup camera, a car radio, and something that was a touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that was easy to install at home? Well, you're in luck because today we present you the Trum C T-P08 car DVR. HD Smart Touchscreen. Let's go ahead and get this thing pulled apart to show you everything that it comes with. Let's get started. Now, like mentioned before, this is an all-in-one unit, and what's special about this, it's 100% universal. This does not have to be mounted in the dash. Alternatively, because it has a built-in DVR, this will go on top of the dash, and it's easy for anybody at home to install themselves. Look at this. So what we have in front of us here is a, kind of looks like a rear view mirror, but it's not. It's dash mountable, comes with a double-sided sticky pad here, but essentially it's an Apple CarPlay Android Auto radio. It has a built-in speaker. It's a large, almost a 10 inch screen here. And on top of that has a built-in DVR dash cam and backup camera capabilities here, all in one unit. In the box, it also comes with a user manual, has your power adapter, backup camera wiring harness and camera itself. They include an aux cable in the box and an additional double-sided sticky mount for the dash. Closer look at these accessories, it comes with a backup camera itself. That's kind of a universal mount. You can always convert this over to a license plate mount version, and we can link one of those in the description here for you. It comes with a long backup camera extension harness. This end plugs into the monitor itself to display the backup camera, both for just reversing and real-time recording of the camera itself for what's behind you. It comes with some mounting screws and some double-sided tape as well. Now additionally, in this kit comes with a very simple power harness where it's using this USB type C connection and this goes into a power socket cigarette lighter within your vehicle. Really nice, you don't have to tear apart the dash, it literally is a universal mount. Now if your vehicle has an aux input, there's an audio output from the unit goes through this aux and then to the aux input of your car. If your vehicle doesn't have an aux input, it's all right, there's a solution for that to play audio from the unit through your factory car speakers. And finally, it has another double-sided sticky tape uh, universal mount for the base here, which we'll show you more in just a moment. It's a 1600 by 600 square resolution here, just a hair under 10 inches, diagonally measured, and it's a low profile, so it shouldn't take up a ton of space on your dash. Here on the top here, there is a little hole for a mic as well as a power button. And that's it, super clean and simple. We can see here on the back, we have our main dash camera. It is adjustable, so you can point it in the direction as needed. The base itself has four spots here in case you wanna physically mount it with some screws on the dash, or alternatively, if we flip this on over, it already comes preloaded with some double-sided sticky tape. You just remove this off so you can stick it wherever you like within the vehicle. And now the backup camera has quite a bit of length here. So really, you'll mount this in the rear of the vehicle. Ideally, you probably put it around the license plate area. What this really long red cable is for is to tap into your reverse gear signal in order to tell our screen that we're backing up to automatically cycle the camera image to show up on the screen without having to do it ourselves, we need to hook up this wire. You can tap into the positive wire of your reverse light. As Soon as that sees 12 volts when you're backing up, it'll put power to this harness here and ultimately tell the screen, hey, you're backing up. So it'll automatically cycle the rear view uh, camera image on the screen itself. Our main home screen with that home button will take you to options like CarPlay, Android Auto, we have a DVR function, playback, as well as FM transmitter settings. Now we also on the left hand side have your home button, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the volume, and you have your main settings button. Is If we just simply go to our DVR here, we can have a nice split screen that shows you both the front camera as well as the rear camera. We're here in the Provo Beast Garage, we got our bug right behind us, which is super cool. 
Now, what all you need to do is you can just simply tap on the screen. You can stop and start your recording. You can lock a clip if needed. You can take a photo. You can play back a clip if needed. You can turn on and off your microphone here. And then finally, if we hit this button, we can select the different views. So front camera only, rear camera only, double. We'll hit the home button here. So to begin pairing with CarPlay or Android Auto, generally speaking, we need to pair two things. We need to pair Wi-Fi and we need to pair Bluetooth. So first thing we need to do, go ahead, since we're doing an iPhone here today, it's gonna show you how to pair either CarPlay, Android Auto, or just simply Bluetooth music here. We found it on our phone. We're gonna go ahead and select that Bluetooth device. We're gonna hit pair on our phone, allow our contacts. What it does here on our phone is a, once you pair, you're gonna hit use CarPlay. So we're gonna click on use CarPlay on our iPhone. What that's gonna do is authenticate that Wi-Fi connection and it should automatically pull it up for us. There we are, perfect, easy enough. So like I said, once you pair Bluetooth, especially with an iPhone, then it'll automatically do the Wi-Fi side for you, just following the prompts that are shown on your phone directly. Um, we didn't have to do anything with our Wi-Fi, it did it on our behalf. Like I said, 100% wireless. Here is our CarPlay screen here, it's super cool. So right here on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we can hit this button here. It'll jump to our DVR, we can hit it again. It'll jump right back to our CarPlay settings. So there's our CarPlay menu. Like I said, it has audio that comes out of the built-in speaker within the unit itself. So you can go ahead and play audio as needed within the connected apps. It's a very basic speaker. It's not gonna sound like a full audio sound system that your car may include. So alternatively, if you want good audio, we do suggest either setting up the FM transmitter, which you can simply do here on the main screen, or simply connect an aux, the aux output of our unit itself to the aux input of your vehicle if so equipped once again thank you to these guys for sending over this unit to check on out this is pretty cool um, if you want specifics on how to install a backup camera we have great backup camera that are very specific here on the channel that really walks you through step by step on how to install one to your specific year make and model if you want one of these units we can certainly link one in the description here for you and also link any more additional information we didn't cover today also in the description at your convenience Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. And we will see you in the next video.